Alright, in this movie we're going to start talking about our introductions. We're going to focus on first and second person. So introducing yourself and asking someone directly for their name. So we'll start with the question. What is your name? We have two versions of this, an informal and a formal. The informal version is Como tu tapel? Como tu tapel? Remember that that ENT at the end of como is still a nasal sound. Como tu tapel? As discussed in class, you can actually move all three words of this sentence into nearly any order. There are only two rules you have to remember. The first is that the tu and the tapel have to be next to each other. The second is that if the tu comes in front, there is no hyphen, but if the tu goes second, there must be a hyphen. So compare it to our second version. Como tapel tu? It's the exact same question. All we did was we flipped the tapel and the tu. Since the tu came second, we had to add our hyphen. But other than that, it's the exact same question. You can also put the tapel and the tu at the beginning. Tu tapel como? Yes, this does leave us a fourth version. Tapel tu como? However, this is pretty unusual. It's grammatically correct. A French person would understand what it was you wanted to ask. Um, but you almost never ever hear it. So if you're going to learn one that you want to focus on, don't have it be that one. Stick with comment tu t'appelles, comment t'appelles tu, or tu t'appelles comment. Our formal version is going to make four changes. We keep the comment. That part will never change. The tu is our main informal indicator. So in order to change it into formal, we're going to use the word vous. Como vous. Then when we look at the tapel, we have three different changes we need to make here. The first is the T apostrophe. We're going to change that into another vous. Yes, this means we have two vous next to each other. That's okay. The last two changes we're going to make are spelling changes. We're going to drop one of our L's and then change our S to a Z. Please note that this will change the pronunci pronunciation of the word appel. Comment tu t'appelles? When we drop our S and change it to a Z though, an E-Z makes an A sound, so it becomes appelé. Comment vous vous appelé? Como vous vous appelez? Note the liaison between the second vous and the appelé. Como vous vous appelez? Remember that any time we form liaison with an S, it makes a Z sound. Como vous vous appelez? Just like before, we can flip this around in any way that we feel like. Your vous appelez and your vous can be switched. But remember, if our first vous is going to be moved after the appelez, we have to add in our hyphen. It's also important to note which vous is the one that gets the liaison. You can't just always remember it as being the second one. It's always the one that precedes the word appelez, because that's where our vowel is that forces the issue. So in our first sentence, Comment vous vous appelez? The second vous is the one that got the liaison. But in our second sentence, Comment vous appelez vous? It's the first vous, because that's the one that's followed by the appelé. Just like before, we can flip the comment to the end. Vous vous appelez comment? We, we just want to stick with these three, though. To respond and explain your name, my name is, you have two different options. The first is, je m'appelle, je m'appelle.
head. It is extremely important that you focus on your pronunciation of this word. Je. Je. It's a very common word. It's the word for I. So every single time you talk about yourself, you're going to use this word. But changing that vowel sound, that uh, can form several other words. So it's very important that you get the correct vowel sound to the correct translation. We want je, je, je m'appelle. Our second version to say my name is would be mon nom a. Mon nom a. Note that our EST is pronounced A. Yes, this is an extremely common sound in French, and there are many, many, many uh, letter combinations that create the sound A. We have our EZ, we have our ET, EST is yet another one. Mon nom A. And then please, of course, remember to finish the sentence with your actual name. You can't just say, My name is and then sit and wait for someone to ask the next question. It's best if you can attempt to say your name with a French accent. Mon nom est Brittany is much smoother and flows much nicer than Mon nom est Brittany. However, if this is too much for you to take on all at once, uh, there's nothing wrong with saying your name in the Americanized version. If you'd like some help with saying your name with a French accent, Please just stop by before or after class and ask me, and I'll help you figure it out. So let's put this together into a practice conversation. So here you are, wandering through Hawker Grove, having an awesome day, coming to French class, super excited, this French class is awesome, and then you notice, oh my goodness, we have a brand new friend. And so you want to get to know this guy. How are you going to start your conversation? Hopefully, we started with a greeting like, salut, ça va? Don't be rude. Don't just walk up to someone and go, what's your name? But let's be polite human beings. Okay? So one of our greetings, such as salut or bonjour, okay? and then a question like, ça va? Or comment ça va? So he replies, oh, pas mal. Et toi? How are you going to respond to that? Any one of our replies works here. You can always add the word merci afterwards in order to be a little bit extra polite. Bien, merci. Good, thank you. But now we really want to move this conversation forward. We want to ask him, what is your name? How are you going to do that? Comment t'appelles-tu is one of our versions. You could have said, comment tu t'appelles, or tu t'appelles comment. Any one of those responses would work. So he replies, mon nom est Benoit. Et toi, comment tu t'appelles? How are you going to answer? Use je m'appelle or mon nom est in order to introduce yourself. And please, don't forget to end the sentence with your actual name.